Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show where we'll talk about different features and capabilities uh, within Microsoft 365 with the feature PM. So the people who are running, uh, uh, responsible running the show on creating these features or responsible of coordinating the work behind of there. And just to call out obviously feature PMs are the coordinators and people who actually communicate what was actually done. There's a lot of people behind of the scenes actually creating all of these features. So engineers and designers and many, many more people. Um, but this time uh, we're gonna actually actually talk about uh, SharePoint page accessibility assistant and this is actually really really cool uh, accessibility is a important thing um, and uh, there are certain level of expectations that accessibility should be always considered when we create the pages and when we create content uh, but let's actually have a look on uh, what that that means in practice pretty soon let's start with an intro so Tina uh, you're uh, once again on the show good to have you on the show can you do a quick intro as who you are and what is accessibility helper all about yeah exactly thank you Lisa for inviting me again <laughs> so hi everyone I'm Tina I'm currently working on the Microsoft SharePoint team as an experienced PM and yeah, today the feature, the new feature we bring up is a little bit different. Uh, previously, we introduced a lot of features like Hero Carousel, like Editorial Car, which aims to make your page looks more prettier. Uh, but like for the Accessibility Checker, which demonstrate uh, at Microsoft, we're really dedicated to making technology inclusive for all. And we want to ensure uh, for SharePoint, we want to make sure all the content creators are able Able to build uh, pretty pages, but also meet with accessibility standards. So this is how the uh, SharePoint accessibility assistant coming up. And a, and a cool thing about this assistant is that when the editors of the page and creators of the content, they don't need to be a specialist about the accessibility. Uh, so the tooling is helping them, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, let's jump into the demo directly. <laughs> Sounds good. Looking forward. Okay, so uh, as a, a content author, uh, I need to enter the edit mode to start to active my accessibility assistant here. Yeah, as we can see here, the checker starts to perform the check for the whole page. Uh, for now, we're supporting five web parts, uh, which are kind of like the major web parts for a SharePoint pages. Uh, we scan for the banner, the image web part, the text web part, the hero, and also the quick links. Yep. And also we perform uh, some top of use cases uh, like missing out text, uh, hard to read text, text color contrast issues and also like the from the page structure level if there's any inconsistent heading order show up something like that so let's start to uh, click on the um, the specific issue and start to resolve them yeah so i think the first one here uh, is saying that uh, there's missing out text for the yep. image. So here I will just simply click on mark as decorative and then I go back to the checker. So you see uh, the missing out text issue has been resolved here, but still yep. there's the hard to read text, a color contrast issue here. Uh, yeah, it's detected and it's also highlighted the uh, web part on the canvas as well uh, to make it easier for you to spot the issue. So let's change that to black and I don't want this. And yeah, let's click on this little man again. It's actually really nice. It's scanning real time all the time the page. So as you move and adjust things, it's, it's fixing it. Yeah. Mark them completed. So that's really cool. Yeah, exactly. And I think there's one more left here. So coming up with the same thing, missing alt text. This time I want to actually add uh, the alternative text here. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. 
not really a, yeah. a good example of an alt text, but still, just to call this out. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> but we're now doing a demo, so <laughs> all good. Yeah, we're just doing the demo. Sorry for that. Uh, and also for this time, the hard to read text uh, color contrast issue here. Uh, I think people are going to be confused. Like, what's the difference uh, for those two little buttons? Like, ahead of the buttons, we offer a few way that you could make your uh, color contrast that you could solve your color contrast issues but also here i can just click on ignore you will be directly uh going back to here uh, it's actually uh function like a, a back button and once you click here again if you click on i fix this because somehow like let's see um you you can still do that if you really want this color and this text yes uh, Which but obviously like, this is, is not, not really recommended. <laughs> this exactly. is not really recommended because sometimes, like, there might be some issues. Like, say, uh, when whenever, like, like you see, like, I can um, uh, change to the mobile view or make my screen like really small. Yeah. Uh, so this this could be kind of okay to see. Let Let me quickly change the color here. Yeah, actually this one to some people, which is okay, but like we uh, give you the really strict standard. So somehow uh, we just want to make sure like this one looks good whenever, like which size of the screen you have, it, it still works well. So yeah. this is why we offer this option, but not really recommending you to directly click on that. The aim for uh, this is still trying to make sure you really solve this issue. Yeah, so uh, now we resolve all the uh, issues for the image web part, then moving to the next one. Here we got an inconsistent heading order. So let's check it. So speaking of the title, which is the heading four, and here, which is the heading three. So let's simply change that to normal. And then we refresh the check. Yeah, you see, like the pro the issue has been resolved as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and what else? The hero web part, there's missing text. So I will change this one to mark as decorative. And let's come back. Yeah, there's one more left. So I will change this to and yep. similar things happening to the quick links. So I will just mark as decorative. And then another one, yeah. Okay, so now it seems we uh, complete uh, to addressing all the issues. So let's click on this again. Yeah, here you go. Looks good. No issues found. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so now we can start to save and close or publish the page. Let's say save and close. Okay, so. Uh, you know what? The real magic here, uh, let's say, if as a co author or as the author coming here again, I can just do more editing here. And if I make the page or I add a new web part, which is not really uh, accessible, uh, let me click on this again. Yeah, you see the issue gonna be catched right. by the yep. checker again. So we need to yep. fix that. Which makes perfect sense. It's not a one-time thing. Uh, uh, when you edit a page, when you're adding content, of course, we need to consider the accessibility uh, with the new content as well. So it makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, so it's always provide the uh, live uh, checks as well. So yeah. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Cool. Really cool feature. Uh, thank you, Tina, for uh, demonstrating that. Uh, and, and it's really cool to have those tooling easily available because th this then means that the content editors don't need to be specialists on accessibility. Now, to be fair, uh, every single content writer and, and if people spend time on, on creating content, they should consider accessibility and they should know a bit about accessibility. But then having the checker in place definitely helps as well. Um, 
any any kind of uh, future roadmap stuff uh, which we can call out in here? Uh, what's what's yeah. is something missing? It's all done. Uh, what are we gonna do in the future? Yeah. So for now, like we're also working on to support the accessibility assistant available in Amplify. So that will come in really soon. Uh, so speaking of the longer roadmap, actually we do have more investment on this. So please, please leave your feedback. Let us know which web part you specifically want us to support, and also more requirements. Uh, we also re uh, receive the requirements like maybe we can leverage AI to generate the alternative text. Yes, we heard that, and we're trying to explore on that area as well. So please let us know and help us to prioritize the things on our roadmap and thank you all for the feedback that, yes thank you Tana. That, that's actually a good point there's there's always so much stuff in the roadmap uh, so the import input from the customers and partners is super critical for us to be able to prioritize that uh, incoming things a uh, roadmap is never empty there's a trillion of items there um, uh, so and we're hoping to get to all of them one step at a time but priorities are dependent on the feedback what we're getting so please 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 let us know. But thank you, Tina, uh, for joining on the show again. Uh, really cool to have you in here and awesome to see these capabilities available for the customers. So thank you. Yeah, thank you.